and welcome to my channel. My name is Suzanne Dighton. I am a UK artist and today as always I'm going to be talking about art and history combined together. Now today's subject is something we're all very familiar with which is animation. Somebody has to sit there and think of these designs so I thought let's pick one from the past that has a scandal with it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget at the end to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Today's subject is a little bit different. Art takes on many forms. When we normally think about art, we think about famous painters such as Leonardo da Vinci or Van Gogh or Goff, depending who you're talking to. But today's subject is about animation and in particular it's about one character in our animation story, which is Betty Boop. Now you may think this might not be the most interesting subject. But behind the actual character, the original person it was based on was not known until later on in history. Created by cartoon animator Max Fleischer, Betty Boot became a cultural icon in the 1930s, a symbol of the Roaring Twenties, and the cartoon was a hit with adults and later with children when she became more toned down. Her career did start off a little bit raunchy and was nearly eliminated from uh, the movie theatres. The character, however, got regulated and she was toned down to become more of a career girl in her later life. So who inspired this fantastic character? Well, it was believed to be quirky, very well known at the time, Helen Kane, who boop doop de dooped like Betty Boop. Or perhaps it was the 30s it girl Carla Bow, with short hair and her eyes being very large and mimicking a flapper cartoon character. Or just maybe it was baby Esther, a black jazz singer whose name has been long erased from our history. Her real name was Esther Jones and she has been a singer and an actress and an acrobat from a young age. She got the nickname Baby Esther from performing as a popular entertainer at the Harlem Cotton Club in the 1920s in America. Baby Esther used to incorporate words as when she was scatting and to do this she would put in words such as boo boo boo, do 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 and so on in her cabaret which gave her the nickname Baby Esther. Now here is where the scandal lies. Helen Kane, who I mentioned previously, was an actress of the time. She went to see Baby Esther between 1927 and 1928. Whilst doing so, she noticed her style of scatting and saying boo-boo and doo-doo, which she then took herself to perform in clubs and stole, almost identically, her act. Now Esther was known for using the phrase boop boop be doo which would later become a signature of the cartoon itself. Yet while the Betty Boop character had acknowledged that baby Esther is the true original, most people still credit Helen Kane. Why? Well Helen Kane went out of her way to take credit for this character. Now you see the thing is, Betty Boop was initially created by Max to be a caricature of Helen Kane. Though he didn't know at the time that Kane was merely a mimic of Baby Esther. So things took a little bit messy in 1932 when Helen Kane filed a 250,000 infringement lawsuit against Mac Felicia for exploiting her and her personality and image. At this point her career was slowly dying so for, in order for her to get back in the limelight this seemed a good idea. It was during the trial that the real Betty Boop was exposed. Theatrical manager and agent Lou Walton testified that Helen Kane had seen Baby Esther's act in 1928 and the act in which Baby Esther sang the song I Wanna Be Loved By You with the phrase boop boop be doop sung throughout the whole performance. A few weeks later Kane began to do the boops like Baby Esther. Judge Edward J. McGoldrick ruled it out of court, of course, and instead it said he had said that, in his opinion, the baby singing did not represent Helen Kane. He also found that Kane did not create Betty Boop's appearance as the cartoon closely resembled another star of the era named Carla Bow, as I mentioned previously. So what this means, this now means that we know who the original person who was inspired by the music style was a black artist called Baby Esther. 
All this means in history is that she gets the credit that she deserves. And you can't rewrite history like Helen Kane did, because the truth would always come out. Sadly, by the time the trial had taken place, baby Esther had already passed away, and the jazz singer was long forgotten. But we all now know that Betty Boop was inspired by a fantastic singer. Now, I couldn't finish this article without actually drawing Betty Boop, so I hope you enjoy this last bit. She was always one of my favourites growing up. She was sophisticated, sexy and classy. If you do have anything you would like me to draw or talk about in history, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all soon.